Mastering alternatives. Handling requests the fluent way. Hello, dear learners. We're back with another fascinating session. Today we're going to explore a key aspect of conversational English, responding to requests with alternatives. Mastering this will make your English conversations more dynamic and natural, as well as improve your problem-solving communication skills. So, let's dive right in. To begin, we need to understand what offering alternatives means. When someone makes a request, they usually have a specific outcome in mind. But sometimes, you may not be able to fulfill that request exactly as asked. Rather than just saying, no, or I can't, you can offer alternatives. Offering alternatives means suggesting other options that might also suit the person making the request. Let's take an example. If your friend asks, can you give me a ride to the airport tomorrow? And you can't do it. Instead of simply saying no, you might respond, I'm sorry, I can't do that tomorrow, but I can take you on Friday, or I could help you book a taxi. Knowing the right phrases can make offering alternatives easier and more natural. Here are a few handy phrases. 1. How about? This is a great way to suggest an alternative. How about we meet at the park instead? 2. Would work for you? Use this to check if your suggestion is acceptable. Would Tuesday work for you instead? 3. Alternatively, we could use this to propose a different option. Alternatively, we could have dinner at home and watch a movie. Remember, practice is the key to mastery. So, don't forget to use these phrases in your everyday conversations. Listening is just as important as speaking. Pay attention to the person's request, understand their needs, and then offer suitable alternatives. The key here is to show empathy, express regret if you can't fulfill the original request, and then present your alternatives. For example, if your friend says, can you help me move this weekend? And you're not available, you might say, I'm really sorry, I have plans this weekend. How about I help you next weekend instead? Alternatively, I could lend you some moving equipment if that helps. Let's practice with a few more examples. 1. Request. Can you babysit my kids tomorrow? Alternative. I'm afraid I'm busy tomorrow. Would next Wednesday work for you? 2. Request. Could you lend me your car for the day? Alternative. Sorry but my car is in the shop. How about I help you rent a car instead? There you go. Now you've learned how to effectively respond to requests by offering alternatives. This will not only make you a more resourceful speaker but also a great listener. Remember, the key is to practice as much as possible. So, incorporate these techniques in your day-to-day -day conversations. We hope you found this session helpful and look forward to meeting you in our next one. Happy learning, everyone!